Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to talk about audiobook features. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, one of the things that was missing in the Google ecosystem was the ability to hear audiobooks. Now, Amazon and their Alexa services have been leveraging Audible in order to deliver those services, but Google just recently launched an audiobook service. Now, the audiobook service is in its infancy still. There are not a lot of books there, but there's a, a quite a few variety that you could choose from. And more importantly, right now, they do have a 50% discount uh, that they'll give you on your first audiobook. So you could go to the Google Play Store and look at the book section. You're going to see a new audiobook section. Now, the neat thing about the audiobooks is that they do work with your Google Home, Google Mini, and your Google Max. So let's talk about some of the commands that you're going to be able to use if you do purchase a book. And remember, if you buy a book now, they're 50% off for your first purchase. Now, before we continue, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get updated of new videos just like this. And give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Now, uh, there are a lot of commands that you can use with the Home Mini and Max. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the ones that you can use today that are part of the music ecosystem that apply here and then also the ones that focus on the audiobooks. So let's talk about some of the commands that you can use now. All right, so let's say for example you're listening to an audiobook. One of the things that you can do is you can say OK and then the keyword play, pause, or continue. Uh, so that is if you're listening to an audiobook and you say OK and the keyword and then you say play, it's going to play OK, pause, it's going to pause, and stop is going to stop. So those are just like your music commands. You could also say just um, OK and then the keyword and then just say stop. You do have sleep capabilities. So as you're listening to an audiobook, you can say OK, the keyword, and then say stop in 30 minutes. So that means that your audiobook is going to play for 30 minutes and then it will stop. You also have the ability to skip ahead and um, you can actually skip ahead in minutes. Um, I haven't been able to get uh, pages, right? So I can say OK, use the keyword, skip ahead 10 minutes and you can move uh, move forward in that. And the same thing can be done with going back. So now let's talk about your audiobook commands that are specific to the books themselves. Now Google is going to remember your book uh, that you're reading. So if you are currently actively reading a book either on your phone or on the desktop uh, or on Chromecast because it covers all those devices, all you have to say is, to your Google Mini is OK, the keyword, read my book. And what it's going to do is it's going to continue reading off wherever it left off. And that's pretty much how Amazon works. So that's you know big thumbs up to Google for getting that right. Now, you can actually, if you have multiple books and you're, you're, you're a fragmented reader where you, or listener, you jump from book to book, what you could do is say, OK, the keyword, read, and then you'd give it the book title. If you do that, you're going to be able to then go to a specific book, especially if you have multiple books in your library. Now, some of the standard things that you can do, just like if you were using a paperback um, and skipping, you can say, OK, the keyword, and then say, previous or next chapter. So, OK, the command, or hey in the command, and then as you're listening to the book, previous or next chapter is going to allow you to jump forward or allow you to jump back. Now, the, another neat command is you can ask Google um, how much time is left by just saying OK, the keyword, and then how much time is left. Now, uh, also, if you're listening to a book and someone comes up to you and says, hey, you know, who's the author of that book that you're listening to? You could actually say hey, and then the keyword, who's the author. So a lot of different commands that you can use to control your book. Now the other thing that you could do is you could actually listen to your uh, audiobook on a different device. So what you could do is you actually use one of your um, Chromecast devices. So you can use again the hey or OK command followed by the keyword and then say read my book on and then you give it the Chromecast device name. So you could also read it there as well. So if you go online into your, again, your Google Play Store, you're going to be able to see the books. The books, uh, some of them are already discounted, but uh, take advantage of the 50% off and you'll be able to get uh, an audio book so you can try this out. Now, uh, keep in mind also that they, the book um, where you're reading, that place is stored. So no matter what device you go to, you're always going to start off where you left off, which I really like. And if you're using your phone for listening to an audio book, uh, remember it's going to be data, it's going to be you know, streaming data. So that's going to uh, need to download something in order to stream it. But once again, once you go from your phone to your mini, it's also going to pick it up. 
So guys, that concludes the audiobook features in the Google Home Mini and Max. I tried not to activate anyone's Google device, so that's why I used the hey and the keyword. If you don't like that approach, let me know. I was just trying to make sure I didn't turn on any of your Google devices at home. Uh, make sure you subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.